Hello everyone, welcome to another session on Spectrum. So in this chapter, we are going to deal with another poem by Watson Shine and the title of the poem is Home. Watson Shire is a British Somali poet. She was born in Kenya to Somali parents and you know she is talking out of her own experience as a refugee. So you can say all together the experience that is getting reflected in the poem is a refugee experience. The poem Home is about migration, its trauma and the complexities that define it. You can say in short the poem is trying to look into the forces that are compelling people to uh, move out of their houses or you can say forces that drive people out of their homes you know that is what the poem is trying to look into uh, out of her own experience as a refugee you know she is trying to look into the the pain uh, of the migrant experiences and there when she is trying to analyze the pain of the migrant experiences she uh, de deals with in detail about how the country in which uh, they are seeking refuge how uh, they are treating the migrants or you can say that the experiences of being migrant in a refugee country okay that is also uh, dealt in detail by the poet in the first four stanzas the speaker details the violence and trauma that often lead migrants to leave their homes making it clear that migration is not a choice for the migrants who flee war torn countries it is not a choice of the migrants uh, no, it is not a choice for the migrants. That is what she is trying to stress on in the first four stanzas. Stanza 5, you can say it begins with addressing the reader and it urges the uh, readers to understand that no one would flee their homes and put themselves as well as their family into the dangerous and humiliating situation of becoming a refugee unless the alternative was far worse you know if at all uh, if it uh, only in that case when they realize to flee the country is better for the lives of their family and also of them you know then only the people will leave you know that is what uh, she is trying to say or trying to explain in the fifth stanza and in the next two stanzas, you can say she is trying to dis describe the cruel and harrowing experience of escaping and traveling to a seemingly safer place only to be welcomed with hatred, bigotry and ignorance. You know, we feel like we are moving on to a safe place, but we aren't. You know, that realization is explained in detail in the next three stanzas. Okay, and in stanza number 9, uh, the speaker begins to look to the future, stating that only her wish to survive is driving her onwards. You know, that is the only reason that makes her move forward. Okay, and the last two stanzas, uh, the speaker repeats the sentiment that no one would leave their home unless. Uh, home itself is uh, driven uh, or you can say it drove away from them you know only in that case uh, you know any person on earth you know they move out of their home okay so this you can say that in short is a summary of the poem. Uh, you know it discussed the poem is all about the horrifying experience uh, of being a migrant okay as it is given in your textbook the harsh reality of living as a migrant uh, or you can say as an undocumented refugee in Europe is the essence of the poem. So I wind up the introduction uh, discussions of Wars and Shrine's uh, uh, home. One more thing I can, you know, I want you to remember that, you know, it's in page number 44. Uh, Wars and Shrine has used the de device of enjambment. Enjambment means basically uh, run on lines, you know, that actually uh, convey. Uh, it is used by the poet to convey the continuing 
sense of movement you know there is no break as such you know this the refugee experience there is no full stop to this refugee experience that is why she has used her unknown lines okay or you know after every sentence there is no pause or there is no full stop as such actually moves into a stanza okay i mean uh, the full stop you can see only at the end of a stanza that actually refers to the continuation of their uh, that traumatic experience also you can say the absence of a rigid structure connotes uh, it actually refers to reflect the homelessness statelessness and the unspeakability of trauma in the post colonial world okay so this also points to that you know that um, there is no structure as such for the poem likewise there is no structure as such to deal with the the problems of the migrants okay so that also it also symbolizes that then another uh, after enchantment another point that you have to remember from the paragraph is a personification is used as a device here Uh, that gives a uh, home a negative connotation another technique used by the uh, poet is repetition and the introduction part suggests a repetition is another technique employed effectively in the poem uh, again that refers to the continuation of the struggle of the immigrants or you can say of the refugees then tone imagery and figurative language are used to grab the attention of readers about the terror that immigrants face while leaving their homes okay so that is all about the introduction we'll discuss the poem in late in detail in the next video